Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing Venn diagrams. Now Venn diagrams for some odd reason scares children. But Venn diagrams are one of the best and easiest way of calculating your information. When we are doing Venn diagrams what we must remember is that the Venn diagram is made up of your sample space. Now in this space we want everything. Now what we do is we have circles inside. Now these circles represent events. So I could have event A and event B. Sometimes these circles overlap and sometimes they don't. Now overlap simply means that they have the same thing in both blocks. And when they don't overlap, it means that there is nothing in common. Okay? When we're doing a Venn diagram, read carefully and you're going to be fine. Okay? Try and see what is the same and you'll be okay. Okay, let us take the following example. Okay, we're going to start with something easy like throwing a dice. Now, the sample space for a standard dice is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you throw a dice, that is what you're going to get. Now, let's say event A is going to be all the even numbers. So what would that be? 2, 4, and 6. Event B is going to be all the odd numbers. That would be 1, 3, and 5. Now, if we were to draw a sample space, you can see between these two, they have nothing in common. Now, when they have nothing in common, I'm going to have the two circles, but they don't touch each other. Under A, I'm going to have 2, 4, and 6. Under B, I'm going to have 1, 3, and 5. Now can you see on the rest of the place where we don't have the circles? I'm not writing any numbers because I've used all of the sample space already. Now let's do the same thing but slightly different. We have the sample space again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our event A is even numbers, our event B is all numbers less than 5. So that would be 1, 2, 3 and 4. Less than 5 means below 5. Now again we have our block. We have our two circles. But look at what you should notice that there's a 2 in the first choice and there's a 2 in the second choice. There's a 4 in the first choice and there's a 4 in the second choice, which means we have an overlap. When the result that you're looking for is in more than one of the events, then we know, okay, we have an overlap. So if I take event A, I have 2 and I have 4. I also have 6. So the entire A, if you see, it has 2, 4, 6. Now, let's look at event B. Event B has the 2 and the 4. But what is missing? 1 and 3. So if you look at B, B, B has all the numbers. It has 1, 3, 2 and 4. So all the numbers that are in its event is covered. But now look at this entire block. Is all the sample space in there? We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, and we have 6. But we don't have 5. So 5 has to be written somewhere. And it is written in the outspaces of the block. That's why in some cases, the outspaces are blank, but in some cases, they're not. 
you need to make sure that the S, the sample space, has all the sample space in it. If it's not in an event, so it's not in a circle, it has to be in the outer space of the sample space. Thank you for watching.